I, I just kept getting piecemeal, right? Right with the halaqa, yeah, it's great, but it's not a curriculum. So I was learning different things and from different communities and, and from different scholars and sheikhs and shiuch. Um, and, and it just wasn't enough for me. So I started taking these like weekend intensive seminars, but they were weekend intensive and I would get this high for like a little bit. <clears throat> and then I would like study so that I can just like maintain it, but also apply it. And subhanAllah, it was really a, a dua that I had right after I got married. Um, and then a year later I was expecting, um, I was like, okay, things are gonna change. Like, I'm not gonna be able to masjid hop. I'm not gonna be able to do a lot. And I got married 10 years ago, so virtual stuff wasn't as popular. Um, and subhanAllah, I met, uh, I met Sheikha Tamara Gray, um, you know, Ansa Tamara Gray at, at the time that I needed her the most. <laughs> Um, you know, I started, I started with Rabat in the pilot program in November of 2012. I remember because my son was a month old and it would be two o'clock in the morning and I would be nursing and listening to recordings if I missed class and like taking notes. And, you know, my husband walked me and said, what are you doing? I'm like, well, Musa needs to eat and I'm up. So I'm just going to take notes. <laughs> um, and it was really with, with, I needed, a, I needed, I was praying for something that was structured something that was consistent, structured, but also on my time because I was a new mom and, and relatively a new wife as well. Um, and then, you know, a year and a half later, I had my other son. So having two small children and studying was possible. I, I took Arabic with two small kids. It was the only class I took. It was hard that semester, but it was manageable and doable. Um, and so for me, what I really appreciate about uh, Rabata has really been um, you know, I have a goal, right? And I'm, I'm aiming to, to complete that cert that particular certification, inshallah. But I, I do my best to take things piecemeal. I definitely am the one that like, oh my God, I want to take all the classes every semester. Michelle, I, I know you know, right? Like every semester, I'm like, I'm going to take them all. Um, but, you know, I've had to learn like, okay, what can I really dedicate my time to? What Where do I need to go? Like what classes am, do I have left? The accessibility with the sheikhs is is really phenomenal getting to meet other women like Michelle and I have shared space physically a few times but we talk you know virtually often right and we know each other and we know each other's lives so it isn't just like learning with your teachers which is important there's also the suhba right I trust the Rabata sisters with my life and I do not say that lightly um you know subhanallah and so it's it's been a journey but it's also this beautiful sense of community and we're supposed to be in community with each other. 